Hey guys, just doing a uh, review on my uh, Michael Myers from Sideshow. Um, <clears throat> it's got a normal Sideshow body. The articulation is quite good. Uh, obviously not as good as the um, Hot Toys or Medicom, but still basically what any normal human could do. Um, just giving you some different angles of the figure so you can see basically what he consists of which is a big word for me <clears throat> obviously comes with his well his uh, head sculpt is basically his mask with his hair um, his eyes are painted on obviously through where the mask ho eye holes are comes with a grey oh hang on I can't even see where my fingers are going a uh, grey t-shirt well it's actually like a tank top it doesn't go down to the sleeves with the uh, on the arms he has his uh, boiler suit on, which he wears in here enough all his films. In fact, yeah, I think that's all he wears in his films. Um, his base, nice uh, sideshow originals, I think it was the uh, the Freddy, the Jason, and that all have the same sort of base, but obviously with their different faces on. Um, his boots, you probably won't be able to see it with the focus. The uh, the boots have a bit of weathering on it, so that's all right. <clears throat> um, I found the um, the boiler suit was a bit too large for the uh, the figure, so what I've had to do is uh, roll back the cuffs a bit. But you can't really tell that much because it, it looked like it was like two sizes too big for him. Obviously, you can tell because the baggy uh, pants, well, the overall pants or whatever you want to call it, it's like really baggy. All the sideshow ones seem to be too baggy for the figure. He, uh, he also comes with a knife with a bit of blood on it. The blood uh, effect on it is not really that good, but um, whatever. He also comes with uh, a, a sheet, like from the scene in the movie in the first one. I think it was the first one anyway. He uh, puts like a sheet so he looks like a ghost, and he's got two uh, two eye holes in that, and a pair of glasses. Uh, they're the only accessories he comes with, to tell you the truth. Now, the face is getting slated like hell on all the forums and that. And I know it isn't, you probably can't see it with the backing. <clears throat> it's not like 100%, but it's the only Michael Myers figure that's out there, so it's not really worth complaining about because you can tell who it is. It's not that bad. The, the only one grievance I've got against it is the hair. It's, it's more like an afro. You probably won't be able to see that, but you know, his was more like a cone back, sort of longish hair, not like a ponytail long, but you get the idea. But yeah, that's the only problem the hair is just like an afro. Uh, yeah, basically, that's the figure. It's uh, it's not bad, I like it. Well, uh, like I said, it's the only Michael Myers one that's actually been released. I've seen a few customs on the forums, and they look spot on, like, but uh. Yeah, well, whatever. If you can find it, it's, it's quite rare now, I think. Same with the uh, the original's leather face. Um, he's worth getting. Well, obviously I've had him, so... Uh, he looks quite good next to the Freddies and the Jasons and that. Peace. I'll see you later.